Hi, my name is Lisa Anderson and today I'm going to talk to you about my hometown, Lowell, Massachusetts. A lot of us might know a little bit about Lowell because a lot of us are Massachusetts residents. However, growing up as a second generation citizen of Lowell, I know a lot about the history, the culture, and some fun facts about Lowell, Massachusetts. Today I will share with you a little bit about all three. The first fun fact I want to share with you about Lowell that not many people know is that it has eight regions. Downtown, Centerville, the Highlands, South Lowell, the Acre, Belvedere, Pasacaville, and Back Central. The Acre is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Lowell and is considered to be a gateway for citizens from countries like Ireland, Cambodia, Greece, Canada, and many other countries. These regions are cut in the middle by the Merrimack River. The Merrimack River has 5.6 miles of canals at the Lowell National Historical Park. These canals channel the Merrimack River's 32-foot drop to the Lowell Mills, providing power. By 1850, the Lowell Textile Mills annually produced enough cloth to cover the world twice. The most popular sports in Lowell are boxing and baseball. The Lowell Sun hosts the Golden Gloves Tournament at the Lowell Auditorium. One famous boxer you might know from Lowell is Mickey Ward. Mickey Ward was portrayed by Mark Wahlberg in the movie The Fighter. This movie was filmed in Lowell in downtown, two streets away from my middle school. My dad happens to actually like the movie The Fighter so much that we have a poster of it in our house. Another popular sport is baseball. The Lowell Spinners is a Class A affiliate of the Red Sox and plays at Lalatra Park. Some players from this team who have succeeded to the Red Sox include Jacoby Ellsbury, Jonathan Papelbaum, and Kevin Euclid. Lowell Spinners have sold out a minor league record of 228 straight games, and there's currently a long waiting list for season tickets. Some random facts I have acquired are that Moxie Soda was created in Lowell in 1876 and was the first mass-produced drink in the U.S., and that the Lowell Cemetery is the fourth oldest garden cemetery in the United States dating back to the 1840s. Some famous people that you also might know from Lowell are Bette Davis, the actress, Ted Leonis, the founder of AOL, Ann Wang, inventor and businessman who invented Wang Technologies, and Mickey Ward, the boxer. The next thing I want to discuss is the culture. The population of Lowell is 108,861. Out of this 108,861, 63% of the population is Caucasian, 16% is Asian, 14% is Latino, 4% is African American, and 3% is other ethnicities. Lowell has the second largest Cambodian American population in the United States. Lowell contains many ethnic groups. During the Industrial Revolution, most people who lived and worked in Lowell were from Ireland. This led to the formation of ethnic enclaves. My great-great-grandparents came to America from Ireland and lived in an Irish enclave. In fact, my mother grew up in a predominantly Irish community in the Acre. The most predominant enclave is the Cambodian enclave, which includes 20,000 people in the Lowell Highlands. Lowell has many other traditions and habits. Some of Lowell's cultural aspects are music, art, and entertainment. The Lowell Folk Festival is held nearly in June or July and lasts for two days, usually a Saturday and a Sunday. This festival is where the people of Lowell express their cultural identity. This festival is the largest free folk festival in the United States. There is also the City of Lights Parade. The City of Lights Parade is a parade where people walk the streets of Lowell and light the streets for the upcoming winter. Then there's the Winterfest. The Winterfest is in February and lasts for a few days. During the Winterfest, people usually just drink a lot and walk from bar to bar in downtown Lowell. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is history. Lowell is famous for its cotton mills. The English population in Massachusetts grew up until the 1700s when they realized that farming was not enough to sustain the families. A guy named Francis Cabot Lowell then opened the Boston Manufacturing Company. This manufacturing company opened the boot mill in Lowell. This mill was set in a canal system that helped to foster the growth of the textile industry. The first church and school were then created. The church, called St. Patrick's Church, still stands in the acre of Lowell. Lowell was one of the first true American factory towns. Due to the booming textile business, immigrants came from all over the world. These immigrants came from countries like Canada, Germany, Ireland, and several other European countries. They flocked to Lowell to get one of the jobs in the mills. In addition to these immigrants, Francis Cabot Lowell and the Boston Manufacturing Company recruited girls from all over New England. They set up boarding homes where these girls could stay and they promised them decent wages paid in cash. These women, who are known as the Lowell Mill Girls, were one of the first independently working women in America. An important aspect of the Industrial Revolution in Lowell was the rights of women. Women's rights increased after the Industrial Revolution because of the mills like those in Lowell. 
This sculpture shows the hardships that the Lowell Mill girls went through gaining these rights. Lowell prospered into the 1900s when other U.S. cities began using steam-powered factories offering cheaper labor and providing lower transportation costs. This caused the Lowell Mills to become useless. Lowell's economy saw a brief recovery during World War I when people needed ammunition and they also needed textiles for things like uniforms. However, during the Great Depression, the economy plunged into a severe slump. The Lowell Mills are now apartments and restaurants and they are no longer used for the textile industry. So that's it. Today I've taught you the history of Lowell, the cultural aspect of Lowell, and also some fun facts. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day.